Rosenberg, the realness. What's up, G? What are we doing? Yesterday, Nicki Minaj came and sat down, and it was a great conversation. A 40-minute conversation, in fact, where we talked about a million things that happened with Summer Jam, her career, our uh, conflict. I was really proud of yesterday. And yet, for some reason, the only headline that would ever get mentioned, the only thing that people seem to cling to in the media was when she said this. I never found you funny. Mm. I never found you entertaining. I never found you smart. I just found you annoying. Okay. Because... (laughs) Thank you. That is very... (laughs) Because you're white. No. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you the top three headlines coming out of... All uh, right. This is good. Yesterday's Nicki Minaj interview. Yes. Uh, Here you go. Number three. Nicki Minaj ends beef with Hot 97, calls Peter Rosenberg annoying. How is that a headline in a newspaper? It's not incorrect. Matter of fact, let's shout out that paper for sticking to the facts. The New York Star Ledger. Big up, Ledger. Yes! But they used used your name. They didn't say some random radio personality. They said Peter Rosenberg. Yeah, so shout out to them. Big up. Salute. That's right. Number two. Thank you. Nicki Minaj rips annoying Peter Rosenberg. Quote, you don't have enough of a resume to make those comments. Yes! Annoying yes. again, yes. though. Wait, now who was that? Yes. That was MTV. I work there. MTV. <laughs> and lastly, number one, the number one headline on Rosenberg yesterday after the Nicki Minaj interview is this is from the huge website Gawker.com. Nicki Minaj hands DJ his ass. Woo! Calmly talk, talks the chip on her shoulder. That's right. That's right. Thank Tell you. me how my ass. Be. Sorry. Sight, Rosenberg, K Fox, and Ebro. The Hot 97 Morning Show.